Hi everyone, welcome back to another capture wardrobe video. You guys have seen the winter capture wardrobe rejig, or maybe you haven't. I'll link it up there in the corner for you. Um, but today I'm gonna to share with you my winter capture wardrobe haul, which I feel is not particularly edited and is not particularly capsule. Uh, but these were things that I purchased sort of since like October, November time. Um, so this is quite a big haul over the space of kind of three months. And there were just a couple of things, a couple of holes in my wardrobe that I wanted to fill and a couple of things that I had coming up that I was like, I just, I haven't, I can't find the perfect thing in my wardrobe. And when you guys see these things, you'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen you wear that a million times already. So I feel very happy with my purchases. I feel like they were all really good things. And I feel like in 2020, I just wanna be very like honest and open with you guys about what is coming into my wardrobe. I feel like this is a bigger haul for me. I tend to do a bigger haul for winter and also summer as well. But for spring, I really wanna keep it small. For autumn, it would be great to keep it small. Remind me of that. <laughs> and I just wanna be really open about what has gone in, what's come out. I'm gonna do a blog post on this at the end of the month of sort of my aims for my capture wardrobe of the year of 2020. And yeah, just open, honest, not really taking on too much gifted stuff as well. There is one thing that I have been gifted over the last couple of months um, clothing wise. So I will be showing you that in this video, but I just wanna be very like open book. And obviously buying more sustainable brands where possible, buying vintage clothing, secondhand, all of that kind of thing. So that is to come this year. But for today, I have a few things to show you. Let's kick things off with the things from Arquette. Um, we went to New York for New Year's. It was amazing. It was great. It had like proper holiday, took time off social media. It was just such a good time to like reset. We had so much fun. Um, but in the run up to it, people were like, just so you know, it's gonna be really cold. They've had blizzards, they've had snow. Um, actually over New Year's when we were there, it was really mild. It was chilly on like one or two days, but overall it wasn't that much colder than the UK. But I felt the need to buy myself a practical jacket, shall we say, because I don't have too many practical jackets in my wardrobe. I have like, ooh, a fluffy leopard print one and like my Whistles wool one. This one as well is gorgeous, but also not the warmest and not the great if it's like raining, snowing. So I bought myself a puffer jacket and I'm not gonna lie, basically all I've worn coat wise for the last two months, it is a delight. If you don't have a puffer jacket, it's like wearing a duvet. It is, oh, it's so nice and cozy. Um, this one is, what's the word for when it rains, but it's not really raining? Shower proof. Like a light shower is fine in this and it's actually made from recycled down, which is really cool. So I've been eyeing up this one on And Other Stories. I will link it down below for you, but it was out of stock in my size anyway. And it also didn't have a hood. Whereas this one has, a gigantic hood, you will see it in the cutaways. Um, so it's very practical, it's got nice big pockets. You can make it tighter at the bottom if you want, you can make it really tight around the hood. Um, a note on sizing, I did end up getting this in a much smaller size to what I usually do. I can't find, can't find a label on it. It does however have the re-down label in it. Redown is made from 100% recycled down and feathers, great. Uh, but I will put down below what size I got the things. I think it was two sizes smaller than I usually get. It's a very oversized boxy fit, um, but yeah, just so, so, so practical. Say hello to the comfiest coat in all the land. Like, oh my word, it is so cozy. I love it so much. It has like a double zip. So if, I don't know why you would want to do this, but if you needed to some reason, like, get a bit of a breeze going on here. You could, if you wanted to. Um, I think it's nice because it's oversized, um, but because I did size down so many times, I don't feel like it's too like Michelin Manny. Also, despite the fact that I size down quite a few sizes, it's perfectly fine on the arm, which is good. I'm quite tall, so I sometimes find that things can be a little bit short in the arm, but I can even, I can do the, the arm roll up inside, which is nice if you've forgotten your gloves. Um, also, I just need to demonstrate the hood, which is like, what? <laughs> it's so big. It is so big. It works really well. I've uh, tested it out many times. I feel like this might not be the trendiest thing ever, but I feel like it's a coat that I will wear for like years and years and years and years just because it is so, it's just so darn practical. My mum is so proud that I purchased this. <laughs> Well, there you go, just to give you a side view, that's what it looks like on the side. So it just covers 
Libby Hind, uh, which is good. Keeps your, your back nice and toasty as well. And then the other thing that I got from Arquette was this hat. It's like one of those hats, and we're gonna put it on now, but you know like you put it on and there's like a little bit of volume at the top, um, which definitely, like I look back at photos that we took and I'm like, yeah, I look a little bit like an idiot. Um, I thought I could pull it off, I can't. Um, so I'll definitely be pulling it further down my head when I wear it. Um, it's merino wool, so it is slightly itchy, um, but I just had a panic moment of like, I don't have a hat. I do, I don't know where it's gone. And again, it's gray. So I really do need to find that. Or maybe, maybe I lost it. I'm just terrible at like losing these kinds of things. Like you put it down. I lost, I lost my pair of sunglasses when we were in New York. Um, my Dick Moby CPT black ones, which I'm gutted about because they no longer sell them. Um, and they'd lasted me like four years. I'd had those four without losing them, which was a great success. Pick this up as definitely more of like a, ah crap, I don't have a hat one. But it was very, very warm. I'll show you in the cutaway, like how it looks when it's pulled down a little bit more. Okay, this is the hat on. Um, I like it, I love a hat with short hair. Like I think I've got just about the right length hair for hats right now. There you go, little uh, claim to fame. Um, so you can see it's got like a little bit at the top here, but nothing too massive. Obviously if I push it up, I can have, I'm definitely not cool enough for that. So we just, we move it down ever so slightly. It was very, very warm, like, cause it's gray. It just goes with everything. I feel like there's not, not really much else to say. It's a good hat. It also comes in lots of different colors. So check out the link below. Then from Under the Stories, we have some very timeless leather pieces. I feel like Under the Stories do leather pieces really well in that they are like very modern, very clean. There's not ever too much hardware on it. I feel like it fits really well. I feel like it's made really well. Um, so I actually picked up a pair of their leather trousers. Um, I did have a pair from Mango that were pretty similar. I think I had them last year, the year before last, ah, still confusing in the old head. Um, and actually they ripped through the knee or were they ones that ripped through the butt? I've had quite a few pairs of leather trousers over the years. I had one that like ripped through the butt. I had one that ripped through the knee. I just haven't had much luck. But these are like more of a trouser trouser instead of that like tight leggingy leather look, which was more trendy in previous years. So these fit like a trouser. They fit so beautifully. I have them in a 38. They fit really well on me. They're like not super tight, but not super baggy. Like you've seen these in videos. They're called the kick flare online, but I definitely say they're just more of a straight leg. And then it's really nice because inside they have a lining that goes to the knee. Yeah, it goes to about here-ish. Um, so they're just very comfortable to wear. Um, yeah, really, really impressed with these. So these are the and other stories, kick flare leather trousers. You've seen me wear these in videos and Instagrams. Good law over the last couple of months. I just think they fit so nicely, like, they're, and they're so comfortable as well. Like they're nice on the bum, but not like super, super tight. And yeah, like I can sit down very easily in them if you wanted me to do a squat right now. There you go. Woo, keep those knees straight, girl. Woo. Um, yeah, just very, very, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Um, it's such like a fun piece to wear as well. I and mean, if you're someone like me who just wears like denim and jeans constantly, a pair of leather trousers are really gonna help to mix, mix things up a little bit, make it like a little bit more formal and a little bit more eveningy. So yeah, a brilliant, brilliant purchase. Pricey, but brilliant. And then a purchase which nothing has caused a commotion quite like the commotion that this caused. I picked this up around November time, um, mainly because I feel like when there's like a fancy schmancy thing in the winter, I never ever know what to wear. Like sometimes I do my leather trousers and a top, but sometimes that doesn't feel fancy enough. I feel like I wanna wear a dress, but I don't really do that whole like oversized like floral dress, which looks amazing on people, but just looks terrible on me. I wanted something that was black and like sleek, but felt casual, but didn't feel too over the top. And basically I saw this on the end of the story site. It is the leather like mini shirt dress. And they just made it look so nice. I was like, that is like exactly what I'm looking for. It's black, it's very simple. It's like a short mini dress. And personally, I quite like short mini dresses on me. And it has the ability to be worn quite casually, but also to be like kind of dressed up if you were to wear it with heeled boots and like tights or no tights. Like it just, there's a lot of options with this. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a little IGTV. I did one of these the other day. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But I did like 
this Whistles coat worn four different ways. I'm thinking of doing a similar thing with this and like showing you how you can style it up, style it down. Um, I've worn this an absolute load. Considering it's a black leather dress, I wore this at New Year's, I wore this to Sam and Nick's. They had like an event with Estee Lauder and people were like, where is that dress from? Basically any like evening-y thing where I've been like, ah, I don't know what to wear. I've worn this. I sometimes wear it with the tie um, for New Year's. I wore it without just because I have been eating a lot of food. It's nice, it has options. Um, I can't wait to show you like the cutaways of this. So here is the leather mini dress and I'm wearing it with the wrap just so you can see what it looks like when it has more of a waist to it. Um, I do think this will look better. I'm gonna invest in some slightly less opaque tights because I feel like it looks a bit like I've got like leggings on underneath. Um, but this is what I wore for New Year's. This is what I wore when I wore it to the Sam and Nick event. Um, I just think it's like a very, simple but like pow like a little a little step up from what i usually wear um and i just think it fits really nicely as well and i can't remember off the top of my head what size i've got this in but i'll pop it down below for you if i come close maybe is this gonna show up i don't know oh maybe yeah a little bit i like it because the buttons are covered in leather as well so there's not too much hardware going on although we have got oh we have got silver buttons here you know what they've never bothered me before i'm not gonna let them bother me now and then here it's just got the wrap that goes around the middle and then I feel like it's quite short, but not too short. I mean, ultimately I would probably always wear this with tights underneath. I guess you could do bare legs in the summer, but then you're wearing a leather dress. I don't know, but we'll see how this goes in the summer. But for me, this is definitely more of a winter dress. That's what it's like from the back. Um, yeah, I just love it. I'm gonna take off the wrap now. Woo, for Monty style. Um, yeah, so actually as a shirt dress, I feel like it works quite nicely as well it tapers in a little bit round the waist anyway without it obviously you've still got the belt buckles there but i kind of like it without i think it's quite like simple yeah i just i love it can you tell <laughs> how many times goes there i love it then i have three final things and i feel like these are a bit more willy-nilly i feel like those i can completely justify they like filled a hole in my capture wardrobe but these were more three things that i just kind of like liked the look of like you know it's, it's fine every now and again you might want to buy something it's all right um these are the redone originals these are the high rise stovepipe jeans um and this is like a kind of black rinsed wash um just like a vintagey looking wash and actually these were in the black friday sale uh, i picked them up in a white shade as well but that's definitely more of like a summer capsule wardrobe so i've already added it to the list You'll be seeing that in my summer capsule. Um, but I picked up these, I thought they were really good, more wintry wash, and they are my favorite, favorite, favorite style of jeans. Um, I have them in black, I have them in blue, I have them now like this. And they were something ridiculous, like half price. I was like, I just can't sleep on these. They're half price, they're my favorite type of jeans. I am finding the sizing is a bit strange in them. Um, I think where they're like a dark wash, they're quite tight. They require a bit of stretching, um, but I would always have tighter denim just because it can kind of stretch out quite a bit. And that's what I've learned with these blue ones. Um, but I love the wash these. If I can find them for you still, still in stock, I'll link them down below for you. So here are the redone high rise stovepipe jeans, the ones that I have in quite a few washes now, but in this like black kind of rinsed wash. They are super, super tight um but it's fine we're, we're stretching them out it's cool and in a way because they are so tight they've got more of like a slim leg look to them rather than a straight leg look which is quite nice so it makes them a little bit different to other ones i have in my wardrobe and i just really like this wash i think this wash is a really interesting addition to my wardrobe and i don't want to wear like a black jean um this just is something that's a bit more transitional um but yeah i couldn't believe i found them for like i think i'm pretty sure they were 30 or 40 percent off which is an amazing deal yeah really happy i picked them up and then i added two bits of knitwear to my wardrobe which if you've seen my winter capture wardrobe rejig you will know was completely unnecessary this is not two things that i needed at all i have so many jumpers so many chunky knits i have so many cardigans actually that's a lie i have one cardigan so these two things or cardigan additions, which I guess is kind of fair enough because I did only previously have one cardigan. It was like my big oversized, like rusty brown um, knit, which I just absolutely loved, but it was definitely like a bigger, put over the top of something type cardigan. But I wanted a few that I could wear maybe with just like a vest top underneath or just wear alone. Um, so the first one I picked up is this. Uh, I picked this up from Bird in Brooklyn, which I was so, so excited to go back and visit. 
It's where I got my Demi Lee jumper from, you know, like the chunky gray knit that I'm like always wearing. And I dream about it. It's from a brand called Demi Lee, but they stock loads of different brands in this bird boutique. They do menswear, they do women's wear, and I just think their like edit is absolutely gorgeous. And I went in there, I saw this, it was on sale, and I was like, I'm having that. Thank you very much. Um, I loved like the buttons on it. It's got such gorgeous, like detailed, it's got a horse on it. Yeah, a little horse head. Gorgeous buttons, really beautifully like woven. It's slightly like grannyish with a little bit of a puffball sleeve, um, but I've just been wearing it on its own with like a t-shirt underneath and then just with jeans and yeah, my mum's always like, I love it when you wear that jumper. So very, very chuffed with my one New York clothing purchase. It was this. I bird man it's so good what was that <laughs> so here is the jumper on and i just love it i actually think the shape is quite similar to the demi lee jumper that i have in gray like this sort of wide balloon arm like a little bit of a mini puffball sleeve i just think it's like really flattering a little bit different i mean you could wear this like open over like a t-shirt or something but i personally love wearing it closed because i just love i love the buttons right let's see if i can get a real good close-up on these buttons. There you go, can you see? Little horse. It's one of those pieces that is just like slipped into my capsule very seamlessly. It's also quite similar to the one that I've got in that I could wear it lower, but then this bottom bit can kind of just tuck underneath and make it look like I've tucked it in, even when I haven't, so very practical as well. And then there is one final thing. It was a cardigan that I was sent um, just before Christmas. It's from a brand called American Vintage, and they very kindly were like, is there anything you would like off this website? And I was like, you know what? This one jumper is very, very nice. It is so soft, and I just adore this color. Like, this color features quite heavily in my wardrobe because it's kind of a neutral, kind of not. Um, and I love the idea of either wearing this just like as a v-neck, like it would be really nice in spring. There is quite a lot of chest when I wear this. It definitely is a deeper V than I would usually wear, um, but it works really well even just with like a vest top underneath. I personally have been wearing it a lot with t-shirts underneath, throwing this over the top and it's just such a good layering piece. Like how did I survive with just like one huge oversized cardigan in my wardrobe. I don't know, they're glorious. Am I turning into my mum? Yes. <laughs> I have to say that this jumper is so soft. Like, you know, the kind of jumper that just makes you wanna hug yourself. Well, see what I mean? Boobs. Yeah, that I'm like, <laughs> that I'm not super into. I wish it was just maybe like here. That I would be into. That's why I tend to wear this with like a little vest top or like camisole underneath, just so it's not so like, whoa cleavage I'm not crazy about cleavage on me it's cool um but yeah i love the color of it and actually like worn with this outfit i think this is a really nice like maybe i'd wear this out for like a nice dinner like put a bit of chunky jewelry on with it like a chunkier necklace and i think this would make a really nice like eveningy look but then also you could just wear this so casually like day to day over a t-shirt over a shirt just to keep yourself nice and warm. I do see the value of a cardigan or two in your wardrobe, a very flexible piece. So those are all of the new additions to my winter capture wardrobe. I will link all of them down below for you and I'll also try and find like dupes or in stock dupes or slightly cheaper dupes if I can and link those next to them. So check out the description box because it will be bumper. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, where are you at with the whole capsule wardrobe thing? Like, what are your thoughts for 2020? What are you gonna try and do this year? Inspire me, let me know. I've got a blog post coming soon for you on that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.